What is good, seventh graders? We are starting to talk about statistics and probability. Uh, a couple things we need to talk about first are representative sampling and bias sampling. Representative sampling basically means that it's fair, everyone has an equal chance to be asked and to contribute. Biased then would be unfair, where not everyone has an equal chance or some people are favored over other people. So a representative sample, for example, if we wanted to figure out the favorite color of seventh graders, we could put everyone's names in a hat and pull out 10 names and ask those people. Everyone would have an equal and fair chance of being one of the names that's pulled out of the hat. Or we could put everybody's names in alphabetical order and then pick every third person on the list. Everyone again would have equal chance of being asked. A bias sample would be if I only asked my favorite students or if I only asked the best math students or if I only asked the kids um, that wear glasses or something like that. That would be biased, that would be unfair because not everyone would have an equal chance of being chosen, okay? So there's no formulas or anything yet, but we just have to be thinking about what would be, what kind of sampling would be fair where everyone has an equal chance of participation. That's called representative sampling. All right, let's go on to some examples. That's it.